Today we're taking grilled chicken and turning it into an incredible white pizza using the dojo on the Kamado Joe. How's everyone doing today on this, uh, this quarantine Tuesday, I think? It's quarantine day. Uh, today we're gonna be making a white chicken and spinach pizza on the Kamado Joe using the dojo. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grill some chicken breast, then we're gonna throw it on this pizza dough. Got some Alfredo style sauce, got some good cheese, got some spinach. We're gonna throw it on about 450 for uh, you know 15 or 20 minutes or so. Um, so to start, we're gonna grill our chicken. If this is your first time watching, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when we put out videos every week. And uh, if you like this video, definitely hit the thumbs up button and comment on what you want to see me cook in the next couple episodes. So let's focus on this chicken now. So we got a plain chicken breast here. I'm gonna be using this uh, Himalayan Sherpa from the Atlanta Grill Company. Super good seasoning. It's got uh, salt, pepper, garlic. Don't wanna go crazy with the chicken uh, going on this pizza here. So this is a good all purpose chicken seasoning. So we're gonna hit that. You can see the pepper, salt, garlic, get a little pat. And before um, I came on out here today, I actually pounded this down just a little bit to make it uh, more uniform in size, just so it grills up a little bit easier. Okay, ready for the grill. All right, so I got a big old basket of Fogo charcoal that's been going here for about 20 minutes or so. Got the grill grates in the upper position, and right now, I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of Pam, just so it doesn't stick. And we're gonna get this uh, chicken on. Cooking around 450 degrees at the moment. Just wanna cook this thing through, uh, maybe take around seven minutes or so. We're gonna check back in a few minutes and see how it's doing. Okay, it's been about uh, two and a half minutes, three minutes or so. We're gonna check this, see how the chicken is doing. Oh yeah, looking good. Let's see if we can pull that. There we go. Nice. Good grill marks. Feels good. We're gonna leave this on for another uh, two or three minutes. Cool, been a few minutes. Let's check this chicken here. And that's looking perfect. Yep, this thing's ready to pull off the grill. We're gonna uh, pull this off. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit. Then we're gonna slice it. But for now, we're going to uh, focus on our dough. This chicken looks awesome. I wanna eat it right now by itself, uh, but we're gonna let it sit here and they're gonna slice it up. Uh, what I just did, I pulled out the grill grates and the rack because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually put the dojo in. And so for the dojo, and you can do this without the dojo if you have the pizza stone, by all means, basically the same instructions. But for the dojo, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the grill here and I'm actually going to shut this top valve the entire way because enough air is coming in through here, so we don't really need that. So I'm gonna keep the temperature the same down there, the same adjustment on the bottom vent, but for right now, we're gonna get this dojo on and let it get heated up. Put it on, I wanna center it a little bit. Okay, so dojo's on. We're gonna be cooking at 450 degrees, which is the same temperature we cooked the chicken at. Uh, close the top vent down, put the dojo on, and I'm keeping the uh, bottom vent the same opening. If we need to adjust a little bit, we can. But for right now, we're gonna focus on our dough, let our chicken rest get it sliced up, and then we're gonna get this pizza on. Cool, so grill's coming back up to temp here, uh, trying to hit that 450 degree mark. We're gonna focus on this chicken right now, get this all sliced up. Look at that nice color that the uh, that Himalayan Sherpa did for us. That's from the Atlanta Grill Company. I'll drop a link down in the description, but it's definitely one of my favorites. So let's uh, just cut down here in the middle and see how we did. Perfect. Nice and juicy. Done all the way. It's gonna be awesome on this pizza. So I want relatively thin slices. Kind of like a number two pencil, like the old brisket rule. How's everyone been doing with quarantine? Been cooking more at home? Not sure if you've seen in the background there, I got a bunch of golf balls from my, uh, my constant shipping back and forth to keep myself amused. Cool. This chicken looks awesome here. Like I said, good grill marks. Totally done. Let's give it a little taste. Mmm. Delicious. That's gonna be great on that pizza. All right, chicken's all carved up here. We got our pizza dough here. We got um, a blend of mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. We have some spinach as well as Alfredo sauce. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. 
there's still some shortages here uh, where I live in terms of getting everything that I would normally want to use. This spinach here is, uh, is from a can. I rinsed it a little bit, uh, I pushed out the excess moisture, kind of uh, squeezed it in a paper towel, get a little dry. This is what we're using. This uh, Alfredo sauce, I did not make. If you have a really good Alfredo sauce that you are just like jonesing for and that you're known for, you can use that. But uh, if I'm gonna make an Alfredo sauce, I want it to be on the actual pasta, like a pasta dish. Um, jarred sauce or you know, want something from the refrigerated section, perfectly fine here. Uh, and like I said, mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. And we got this chicken. So at this point, this girl's almost up to temp. So we're gonna start to uh, assemble everything and get it all together. Okay, so pizza's down on the paddle. I threw a little bit of flour on there just so it doesn't stick. Make sure to give it a little shake now and then just so it doesn't uh, stick because you, when you throw it in the oven there, you wanna make sure the toppings don't fly to one side. So uh, the base, uh, instead of tomato sauce, one of the reasons this, this is a white sauce is because we're using actual Alfredo sauce. Uh, if you wanted to do more of like uh, an olive oil sauce, you could do that, uh, just keep it a little more simple. No big deal, but I'm using Alfredo sauce tonight. And you're not gonna wanna go too terribly heavy with this because you always need less sauce with pizza than you think you do. I remember once I ordered a pizza and they gave me the option to add extra sauce and I did and it was just swimming and it just wasn't as good as I expected. So that right there is really what I'm looking for. And at this point, we're gonna be layering this, uh, this really nice grilled chicken that we grilled up here. So don't need to get fancy. Throw it around. You don't wanna overdo it. That looks good to me. Followed by some spinach. Again, jarred spinach. This is the Popeyes brand. I remember eating this when I was a kid. This is a staple. And it's delicious on pizza, especially with that white sauce. If you got fresh spinach, by all means, go for it. Um, if, if that canned spinach, if I wanted this amount, I probably need to like, cook down about two bags or so. And uh, I just didn't have that time. So now we're gonna hit this with the uh, Parmesan cheese and mozzarella blend. Probably a little bit more mozzarella, probably like uh, two parts mozzarella, one part parm. I'm gonna sprinkle that. The mozzarella's nice and creamy to go along with the Alfredo sauce. The Parmesan's a little bit salty, has a little bit of a bite. I think it'll work out real nice. And why not, let's just use this cheese up. We're good. Last thing I'm gonna do, I do this with both, most of my pizzas, uh, just hit the, uh, the crust with a little bit of fat. I used duck fat last time, that was good. Got some Pam right now, this is what I used on the grill, uh, just to help it crisp up a little bit. I wanna drown it, just enough to get a little browning. Okay, grill's at about 450 degrees, 475, creeping in the 500 range, that's actually okay, uh, as long as we're in that uh, general range. Uh, the pizza here, shaking around a little bit, making sure it's loose, and we're gonna get this on the dojo. We're on. This is probably gonna go for maybe 10, 12 minutes. Uh, this is a little bit of a thicker crust than what I normally do. This is not a Neapolitan pizza. This is not a thin crust pizza. Those types of pizzas usually take maybe 90 seconds. So, uh, so I'm learning on the fly here. The most important thing is it's not so much about the time, it's just how it looks. So we're gonna be monitoring how that, uh, that crust was browning up, how that cheese is melting. And if it looks good, if it looks like a pizza you wanna eat, that's when we wanna pull it off. So uh, I'm gonna watch this for the next few minutes and then we're gonna get off the grill. Okay, it's been about 12 minutes now. Let's get this pizza out and see how we did. This pizza belt in. Yeah, beautiful. It's looking good. You got all the uh, the nice little bubbles on the crust there. You can see some of that Parmesan cheese has started to crisp up. Uh, crust, absolutely done for sure. And uh, yeah, this is looking good. I think what we're gonna do now is gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then we're gonna slice into it. Okay, this pizza looks awesome, smells incredible. I uh, got that nice golden crust that we were aiming for. The last thing we're gonna do here at this point is I just want a little bit of herb, a little bit of oregano flavor. Um, I didn't wanna put it on ahead of time because sometimes these dried herbs can kind of burn when you throw it on the, uh, on the grill. So I'm just gonna give it a little shake, kind of on the cheese part there. It's gonna melt in a little bit and, uh, and add a little flavor. So at this point, let's cut into it, uh, take a bite and see how we did. All right, let's give it a cut and see how we did. Ooh, you can hear it. Great crust. It's kind of a nice blend. Uh, it's like, I would say it's standard crust. 
It's not thick, it's not thin. By all means, if you like thin or thick crust, you could totally make this into that. But I'm just looking for something standard today. All right, it's ready to go. All right, this one's got my name on here. Got a piece of chicken on the end there. So you see, nice little flop there. You can see the air bubbles that we worked on. I'm not sure if you can see the bottom of that crust. Got a little flour there, but nice and crispy. Let's see how we did. Hmm. The first thing that jumps out is that chicken. We did an awesome job cooking that off on the grill, letting it sit for a little bit with that uh, Atlantic Grill Company Himalayan Sherpa. Super good stuff. The spinach balances out really nice. Alfredo sauce, not overpowering, just nice and creamy. And then that cheese blend that we put on top just brings it home. And that, that crust, like I've said this before, I get my crust from the grocery store. This is from Publix. Uh, it's like $3. If you have a crust recipe that you like and you're really good at that and you're into that and you've got the KitchenAid mixer, by all means, go ahead. Uh, this is just easy for me. And I don't think I can make that any better. This whole thing's been super easy. This is probably about 30 minute total cook time. And keep in mind, we grilled the chicken breast, put the dojo on, uh, fired it up and got this pizza on and assembled it all. Super easy weeknight meal um, that I'm definitely going to repeat. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in and watching us and enjoying cooking with us. Uh, and for all your comments and your likes and everything, it's been great to interact with you all uh, on YouTube and on Instagram and everything like that. Uh, definitely hit that like button. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. And um, thanks again. I got an awesome burger recipe coming to you next week from, uh, from our friends at Crowd Cow. Really excited about that. Uh, and until then, comment on what you think I should be cooking next. And uh, until then, it's been Kamado Max. Thanks so much for tuning in.